Our mission is to inspire our members. Invent new ideas and possibilities. And innovate our projects. I am Zagum. Melissa. Tanya. Manve. And we are in Actus Leicester. This year, we started out with three members and all projects on pause. Despite this, we embodied the Inaka spirit and took on the challenge ahead of us. Our perseverance enabled us to progress, adapt and push through with our projects. Today, we'll be giving you an insight into how as a team we have grown and made real breakthroughs with our projects. We have been working on developing two social enterprises, namely Toast of the Town and Recall. Through two of our projects, we are working towards not one, but four sustainable development goals. We will walk you through how bread can fund counselling sessions, but first, how plastic waste can be turned into ponchos for the homeless. Even though we are the sixth largest economy, at least 320,000 people, or one in every 200, are homeless in Britain. This is a 120% increase in the number of homeless individuals in the last five years. Did you know that 91% of plastic ever produced has never been recycled? Each year, over 8 million tons of plastic waste end up in the ocean. To put that into perspective, over 180 tons will end up in the ocean over the course of this presentation. In response to these shocking statistics, we launched Recloth last year. We aim to utilize polyester made from recycled plastic bottles to produce outdoor wear for homeless individuals and rough sleepers. From our research, we discovered the complicated process of turning plastic bottles into a fabric has a heavy cost, deciding to source the material instead. To discern our beneficiary specific needs, we established a relationship with The Bridge, a homeless charity based in Leicester. This allowed us to connect directly with our beneficiary group and to ensure our garments are fulfilling an actual need. We have engaged in volunteer opportunities at the night shelter run by One Roof Leicester, another local charity. This allowed us to gain deeper insight into the issues faced by our beneficiaries, such as unemployment, gaining significant work experience and attaining a stable source of income. This reinforced our long-term plan of moving beneficiaries into employment. We believe that social enterprise has no boundaries, so we reached out to the De Montfort University Fashion Department and pitched our initiative. They were immediately on board with the idea and incorporated our project into their curriculum as an optional module. Their second year students designed nine transformative garments for us. Currently, we are working to incorporate functional aspects of those innovative designs into five prototypes that are planned to be completed by May. After which the prototypes will be distributed to five identified beneficiaries with the help of the bridge over a period of two weeks for their feedback. We will be running training sessions with our beneficiaries delivered by fashion students and professionals on a volunteering basis to create profitable garments. We aim to deliver our first batch of garments to beneficiaries by December 2020. We are currently in talk with a local charity, the Cynthia Trust, about renting, a space for training, workshops and equipment. However, due to the current situation, we are aware that our timeline may not go as planned. Our entrepreneurial vision for Recloth is to deploy a buy one, donate one scheme. This allows the project to be self-sustainable without relying on external funding. This allows us to spread awareness about our project whilst establishing sales channels for our long-term goal of empowering beneficiaries to make and sell garments. We have been in contact with our students' union regarding stocking and selling at the university shop. The products we plan to sell will be tailored to attract a suitable market. While we won't be reducing the number of garments purchased, our aim is to encourage consumers to purchase responsibly produced garments. In doing so, they would be contributing to the reduction of plastic waste, aiding our initiative and raising awareness about homelessness in Leicester. Six months. It wasn't long before we realized that our small food waste project, turning surplus bread into beer, has developed into so much more than we could have ever imagined. In 2016, we started as a social project, employing people to process the bread before altering our focus to a more commercial model. Now we have evolved into a social enterprise as we believe this is the key to a positive future. We faced multiple challenges along the way, but we're now extremely proud to have an active brewery and two other partners in place. We are in the process of establishing memoranda of understanding with all our partners to ensure that our revived project is not brought to a halt due to unforeseen circumstances. In the UK alone, 
24 million slices of bread are thrown away every single day. Stacked, they reach the height of the International Space Station. Our sustainable source of bread comes from Fair Share, a long-running food waste reduction charity. We handpick and deliver the bread to ensure that our final product remains vegetarian. Our partner, Braybrook Beer Company, share our passion. They are very excited at the prospect of using excess bread to create lager, which is brewing at this very moment. Brewing started on the 4th of March, and the process will take five weeks, producing 1,000 liters. Using business principles learned through Inactus, we negotiated a reduced rate for our product. We've repurposed 65 kilograms of bread into lager in just one batch, saving over 1,700 slices of bread. We aim to sell at our students' union and local outlets to raise awareness of an act of luster on campus and food waste to the wider community. With this project, we aim to make not only an environmental impact, but a social impact as well. In England alone, there is an estimate of over 580,000 dependent drinkers, or one in every 91 people. 82% of which do not receive treatment. 75,000 people were in treatment at Specialist Alcohol Misuse Services between 2018 and 2019. From this, we identified a social opportunity for our food waste project. Our other partner, Dear Albert, is a local alcohol and substance recovery social enterprise, struggling to offer free one-on-one -on -one counselling sessions. Many of their clientele can't afford these sessions, which is a huge detriment to their recovery. We recognize this as an opportunity to help. So far, we have fully funded 14 counselling sessions using the profits from our first batch at £25 per session, ensuring that all those seeking help for recovery are given the chance to change their lives for the better. Here, John, the director of Dear Albert, explains the importance of counselling sessions on recovery. Well, counselling sessions, one-to-one, um, opportunities are really um, the vital component of someone's recovery journey and um, I think with austerity and particularly with our, uh, the Dear Albert model it's very based on um, working with peers, it's based on lived experience, it's based on mutual aid and it's based a lot of the time within the group environment where we can be mirrors for each other but to have that extra opportunity where perhaps there might be stuff coming up in groups that people feel they're not willing to share in that more crowded environment, but to give someone some um, uh, quality, professional, t caring time uh, on a one-to-one -one basis and just practicing some um, talking therapy and just giving someone that time and opportunity to perhaps th work through uh, some of the underlying issues that might be perpetuating some of the substance use is it, it, absolutely vital. We believe that innovation is key and that the best results are achieved when working as a team. Some of you may be aware that psychology students don't get many opportunities at bachelor levels. They can't find or even volunteer their valuable knowledge to gain experience. After realising how few opportunities there are for students, we set out to change that. Now, we work with the University of Leicester Career Development Services and Dear Albert to offer students a chance to volunteer and provide support sessions. This was well received by students as we had over 50 attendees at a seminar hosted to explain this opportunity. Of course, we don't just offer it to anyone. We have a strict process from application to interviews. This will drive the cost of one session down to 10 pounds, meaning we're able to offer more sessions to a wider audience providing six goal-orientated sessions that will allow our beneficiaries to choose how often these sessions occur whilst working towards predetermined goals. In response to the current situation, we took the initiative to put our program online. Through online conferencing, we will be hosting interviews next week before students enter training. Our first round of support sessions will be delivered by our initial group of successful applicants, consisting of three students, each taking up on up to nine, three clients, impacting up to nine beneficiaries. Through this, we ensure that our beneficiaries will still have the support they need from the comfort of their own homes. This allows students to apply their education and gain clinical experience. These support sessions will be free through these applications, meaning we are able to offer more in-person support sessions at a later date. Dear Albert's total football in the last year was 3,689 with only 179 service users having attended one-to-one -one counseling sessions. 
We will increase the number of student volunteers on our program by three every semester, increasing Dear Albert's capacity by up to 603% by the time of the fourth round of applications in September 2021. Paragon, the name we chose for our product, it incorporates all of our aspirations. To communicate our passion, our project and our partner's stories, we created a label that reflects this raising awareness of safe drinking, encouraging everyone to enjoy responsibly. While turning bread into lager is not a new process, the idea of our proceeds aiding the recovery journeys of our beneficiaries was an opportunity we could not pass on. We are aware that this initiative will not end alcoholism, but we hope that with every Paragon bottle sold, we fulfill our missions to promote safe drinking. Turn excess bread into lager. To provide free counseling sessions and to help students apply their education. Giving everything an opportunity to fulfill its purpose to the maximum. Ensuring this comes full circle every time. But we won't stop there. We're planning exploring further beyond bread. Because we don't believe in stopping. Working towards these four sustainable development goals has given us the drive to pursue more solutions for more of the goals in the future. Developing our projects has created numerous possibilities for us all. Given the right opportunity, we believe people can achieve great things. This year, our small team has invested over 4,000 volunteer hours. Generated over 1,500 pounds in revenue. Helped five beneficiaries gain access to free counseling. And are working towards implementing change for a sustainable future. At Enactus Leicester, we believe in inspiring, innovating and inventing for all. Thank you.